Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to solve the error cannot set headers after they are sent to client in Node.js. So let's get started. So first let me explain you the reason why we are getting the error and later the solution. Okay. So this is my code over here, just a simple post function and here I am having my postman, I am just sending some data. So the main reason why we are getting this error is because here in this particular post function, we are using multiple number of responses. So here you can see right. RES. So if you use multiple number of responses within a single post function, we will be getting this error. So as you see here, I'm having for error, I'm having one response being sent. So this is the else condition of the error. So this will be getting sent and also I'm having here another response. So this is also present exactly inside this particular post function. Okay. So that's the reason why we are getting this error. In Node.js, for every request, we can only have only one response being sent. But in our case, we are having like one response being sent and another response being sent at the end. And also I'm having here a for loop. Okay. So I'm having this response inside a for loop. So the simplest way to solve this problem is by having only one response within your post function or any other function. Okay. So the first way to solve this problem is by removing the additional response statement that you're having in your code. So in my case, I'm having this else response not sent. So I'll just now remove this else block itself. Okay. So I'm just removing this else block. Yeah. I am saving it and if I just now rerun it again, yeah, connected and if I just now hit from my postman and here you can see at the same I am not getting my errors, this is the console that I am having. So what if you also had an error, so let's suppose say that I am having an error, so if I am having an error, this also will be sent and this response will also be getting sent because this is outside that particular query, so my query is here, okay, for each, so outside the query. So in that case, the another solution could be by using a return statement before your response. So you can need to like wrap it before a return. Yeah, just have a return statement. Yeah, so this is like a better way of using it because return statement terminates the function. Okay, so it's always good to have a return statement at the end. So this is it guys. First way, like remove the additional response that you're having. And the second method is going to be having a return statement before your response. Okay. So I think this will solve you the issue and I hope you would have found this video useful. My is a programming channel. I've done tutorials in C, C++, Java, Python, Node.js, React.js, MongoDB, MySQL. So do check the playlist of my channel. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.